Okay, so if you are brand new, welcome to our Wednesday night call. I'm super excited um, because we've got a lot of information packed full tonight. Um, I'm going to be coming at it real hot and then Sam's going to go ahead and end the call for me. So I'm super excited about it. Um, and we've got two different types of perspectives. Yes, Sam did learn from me, but she watches a lot of YouTube videos that talk a lot about this stuff too. So she learned a lot, um, about the same exact topic, which we're going to be talking about tonight. Um, so first things first, I want to go over a couple of announcements with you guys, because I think it's really important to make sure that we're putting these things out here every single day so that you know that it is so ridiculously important to run your business like a business, not a hobby. Businesses pay, hobbies you have to pay in, okay? It's very, very important to remember that. Um, so with the first thing I want to go over is the Zoom calls. These are happening Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and they're happening every single morning. Sometimes they're 20 minutes, sometimes they're an hour, depending on who is hosting it. But we have multiple different leaders with multiple different um, types of leadership, different um, skills that you learn along the way. Um, they teach you how to work this business consistently within one hour every single day. Um, so you can hop on those. Those are, um, like I said, 9 30, uh, sorry, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Wednesday night calls um, are this call right here. It's actually this call, right? So pat yourself on the back if you're on this call. Um, and they start at 9.30 p.m. every single Wednesday. This is our team call, guys. This has been going on for I don't even know how long. Christina, do you even remember how long it's been since we started doing these? Probably like a year or two, right? Like, yeah, like two, two full years. We've been doing them every single Wednesday consistently, getting together as a team. So I do not plan on stopping these anytime soon. This is a real good shot for you to get some awesome training every single Wednesday night. We are taking the time as leaders out of our busy, busy freaking day to help you grow your business. So these are not for me. This is not for my pleasure. This is not for me to just feel good about myself. This is for you 100%. And we are sac making that sacrifice on Wednesday nights to make sure that you get what you need. So showing up for it is the least that we can do as a team, right? So every single Wednesday night, um, I've always planned my life around this. And so that way I can make this happen. So if I'm planning my life around, you know, chances are you got to do the same exact thing in your life. Right. Um, so then, uh, every and i think we're starting to do this every other week we're going to talk with sam and christina but they've been killing it with the monday night zoom calls and they've been doing personal development zooms um just talking about books that they're reading podcasts that they're listening to um different things that they're learning along their journey that we all learn or we all have to learn at some point okay um so just one second guys okay i'm gonna pause this for just a second sorry Okay. Sorry. Bo was just like screaming bloody murder and I didn't know what was going on mom life. So <laughs> anyways, um, okay. So where was I at on Wednesday, uh, Monday night calls. Okay. Those start every single Monday night. I believe we're doing those at 9 PM, right? I can't remember to save my life. It's 9 PM, right? Okay. 9 PM every single, every other Monday night. Um, and I will let you know, guys know in the group chats, whether that's going to be updating or changing or anything like that, that one is kind of fluctuating based on how many people we get on, um, what's really to cover schedules throughout the summer, things like that. So that is one that is kind of fluctuating right now, but you guys will always stay updated in the group chat. So always refer back to the group chat when we have Monday nights, um, just so that you know, we usually like to give you a heads up so you'll learn or you'll hear about that earlier on during the day and then so on and so forth. And I'm gonna give you guys that ID number. Um, it's the same one that you're on right now, but just in case you're on YouTube, just listening to this, um, it's 807-092-7380. The password is always gonna be diamond and that's for every single call that our team has. 
we are always using that same exact ID number and the same exact password every single time. Okay. Um, so I think that's really important to understand that when I first started this business, I wanted to go up, right. And, and in order for me to go up, I had to be willing to follow the people who have gone and done it before me. Okay. So that meant that I had to be willing to show up just like they showed up. Right. Because success leaves clues. If they're showing up and they're super successful and I want to be super successful, what do you think I have to do? I have to show up. I got to show up on every single Zoom call. And so that's what I did to get to where I am. I showed up on every single Zoom call. I let people pour into me every single week. Um, and even now I have a diamond and above Zoom call that only diamonds can get onto. I have to be on that every single time they have that because that's the only people that get to pour into me unless I go and look on YouTube and look for some training videos, okay? Um, another thing is, is the host to post giveaway, okay? Think about host to post in your business as your baby, okay? If your only job in this business was to get people to post for you, you would absolutely need to make sure that you are in the host to post giveaway, right? Because that's the job. That's what you're doing every single day. That is the task. So when I look at the numbers and I look like we're what, on the 20 something, the host to post giveaway is only up to $70, guys. We've only got $70 in that pot. And that means that we're missing a lot of entries. We're missing a lot of people who are not putting in it as of right now. So it is so important. Hold on a minute. I got to meet someone. Matt. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, so the host post giveaway is only up to $70 this month. Last month we got, I think it was like a hundred or yeah, it was a hundred because I paid 50 to both people. Okay. I'm paying $20 myself because I think of this as a business. Okay. I think of this as the more that we get in that pot, the more appealing it's going to be to other people because people are freaking struggling right now. They need that money. Right. So in order to treat this business like a business, as I said before, you got to make sure that you're participating in all the things that you're being taught. And if you want it to work, you have to make sure you're doing your host to post. That's the skill that we teach in this business. And it works. I'm living proof that it works. So make sure that you're getting your host to post, um, your host to post in and making sure that you're adding your entries in guys. Don't let these guys these people think that they're getting into a cash giveaway and then not enter your money in so you can't actually be in, right? Don't let these people um, think that they're getting into the giveaway and then not enter their name in. Why would you do such a thing, right? It, it makes no sense. So uh, making sure that you're adding your money in to be able to participate in the cash giveaway is so ridiculously important. Um, and when it comes down to it, you know, if you want it to, to work like a business and you want to be paid like you're running a business, you have to be willing to do the tasks that we are teaching you and the skills that we're teaching you to do every single day, right? So that's another thing that I want to touch base on. $70 right now, just so you guys know, um, that's like your update too at the same exact time. If you are in the, the host post giveaway, that's what it's up to, okay? Um, another thing is, is something that, I was talking to another distributor and I can't remember who exactly I was talking to about this, um, but I was talking about when I first started this business. Okay. Just a little bit background story of where I started. I started this business, not having a freaking clue what I was doing. I've never been a real fast reader. I've never been a real fast learner. And so, um, when I first started, I had no idea what I was doing and I relied on someone else to teach me every single day. Okay. The person who had signed me was incapable of doing that. She ended up quitting two months after I had gotten started. And so I had to figure it out for myself. I had to figure out, okay, and I had to make this hard, hard decision that a lot of people make in the opposite direction. I could either choose to quit, throw in the towel and say, well, my upline left. So I guess this is it for me. I guess that I can't do anything, right? I had to be choose between that or choose to keep going. I had to choose to be resourceful. I had to choose to show up for myself as a boss, not an employee. Guys, when you said yes to this business and you ordered your starter kit, that's called a business builder kit. And the reason why it's called a business builder kit is because you are legit building a business. You are in a turnkey business that only works if you become your own boss and actually show up every single day, okay? So one of the things that I did, and I wanna share this with you guys because I feel like this is so powerful and if you take it and you run with it, 
it's going to explode your business. Your business is going to grow so, so freely. And you could even go past me. You could literally out promote me. And I want you to do that. So this is how I did it. Okay. I literally got started in this business, no upline, nobody to teach me. So I had to become resourceful. So what was the first thing that I did? I went to YouTube and I typed in it works training. And then I went to the family call that we used to have and we still have it. And I went to all the comments in the comment section, right? You, every single person on the Zoom call gets an email every single week for family call, okay? Every single person on here has their e-suite and their e-suite talks all about family call, okay? So what I did was I found all the people that were in the comment section of that, that family call. The people who are blowing that, that family call up chances are, are the high achievers, right? They want to be known. They want to be put out there. They want to get excited about it because they're rallying their team up. So what I did was I took their names and I put their names in the YouTube. Okay. I got real resourceful guys, real resourceful. I decided to type their names in the YouTube. I found their YouTube channels and you would not believe how many upline, how many leaders have a YouTube channel, just like our team does just like our team does. They share different tips, different trips, different things, different skills, different mindset, all the things that you need to build your business. And I watched a, a training video legit every single day, all the way up to diamond. And I still do it all the time because I want to keep growing. I want my business to keep growing. I want to keep educating myself because without it, I'm not going to keep growing. My business is not going to keep growing because I'm not becoming resourceful. I'm not educating myself. I'm not keeping up with the times, if you want to say it that way. I'm not keeping up with what's actually going on in this company. I'm not, I'm not keeping up with the training styles or different stories of success and things like that. This is how you can fill your cup up every single day and you can make sure that this business is flowing into you so then you can flow it out to other people, okay? So that's another really, really great tip that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I think that's it for announcements. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the nitty gritty of why we're on here tonight and I'm super excited about this. Um, I'm gonna go for a little while and then I'm gonna have you talk, Sam, and you can spin off of me if you're cool with that. Okay, so... Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about customer retention and follow-ups. Okay. I'm really excited about this. And the funny part is, is when I first started my business, I was not excited about this topic. I was actually really, really nervous. And those who, who know me or don't know me, I guess I should say, um, when I first started this business, I was not the greatest at customer retention and I was not the greatest at, um, following up with people that I was talking to because I was afraid of bothering them. Guys, if you know me, you know that I come from a people pleasing background. And so I was always nervous of what people thought about me when I first started this business. I was always nervous that I was going to upset someone. Um, I did, you know, even after I, I kind of weaned away from that people pleasing mentality, I, I started having this boldness about me and this boldness could scare people away. So it doesn't matter whether you're yellow or you're red, you can take this advice. Okay. So um, I got to this point where I was not doing any customer attention. I was not doing any follow-ups in general. And I remember, um, there was a, a person that I had reached out to as a mentor. Um, and I was working with her personally and she was in my upline, you know, she was someone that had enrolled that person that was above me. Um, and then they enrolled me and I reached out to her and I was, I was talking to her. I would set up meetings with her and all that good stuff. And I remember going, going Ruby. And then I remember, you know, hitting my Emerald rank, which is like a thousand dollars a month. Right. And I remember thinking to myself, like, I just want to go diamond so freaking bad. I can taste it. And I just, I'm willing to put the effort in. Am I doing something wrong? And I, I thought that there was something wrong with me instantly. Okay. Um, and then I got on a phone call with her and I said, I don't know what I'm doing because I'm messaging like crazy. I am adding people like crazy. I've got so many people in my inbox. It's ridiculous. I'm posting consistently. I'm doing all the things consistently. Like I'm taught and like I'm told to do. I'm taking massive action every single day to send messages to these people. Right. And she looked at me and she said, when was the last time you did follow-ups, Chelsea? And I said, well, you know what? I don't even know what follow-ups are. I don't even know what that means. So, um, she said, well, there's your, 
you know, ding, 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 we have a winner pretty much. She said, this is exactly why you're not getting to where you want to be because you're getting people on the track, the right track to learning about these products. And you're, you're doing the, the groundwork to get them introduced to it, but you're not following up with them afterwards. You're not sending them a message afterwards to follow up with them, to help them actually make the decision to say yes. And so, um, That was the real day where it was a wake-up call for me. And guys, that same exact month, I signed over 60 loyal customers because I made the decision to start finally following up with people. And so all of those people who I had sent messages to, all of those people who I had written down on my potential loyal customer list or my potential distributor list, their names were written down right in front of me, but I was not circling back around. I was waiting for them to come to me, not going to them. I was waiting for for them to make the decision for themselves without bothering them and hoping and wishing that one day they would just come to me and say, yeah, I'm interested because I sent them a message one time. Okay. And something that, um, something that I want you guys to know is that if you don't, if you don't do the follow-up, if you are not the first person to message them and the last one that they've heard from, they are going to sign with somebody else who has that courage to go out and do the follow-up. They're going to take that person who is persistent and they're going to say, hmm, if she's persistent with me right now, that means she's going to be persistent after I sign with her, which means I'm going to get the help that I need, which means that I'm going to truly get the help with growing my hair out, with losing weight, with making money, whatever, right? So they're going to take that as a sign. So think about that when you're doing your follow-ups. It's not, a, it's not that you're bothering people at all. They want to see that you're consistent. They want to know that you're a real person and they want to know that you're serious. And there's no way to show them you're serious, like following up with them every single week, okay? Um, and creating that, that, you know, that realization for them that you're not backing down, that you're going to keep going no matter what happens. And you're just trying to help them in the long run. Okay. Um, so I want to go over just like four different bullet points of, um, just kind of sharing with you guys, um, different things about following up with people. Okay. So number one, I had down here is just showing you my method of madness. Okay. I'm going to physically switch my camera around and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do my follow-up. Some of you guys have seen this before and it's okay. Write, write it down because you're going to be able to help someone someday. Okay. So write these steps down. Okay. I'm going to show you last week, just because it's a little bit easier to go through last week where we are only halfway through this week. Okay. So if you look at last week, we've got Monday. Okay. This is literally every single person that I talk to on Monday. And you'll notice on Monday, I've got like DT written next to these names. I've got wraps, wraps, samples, wraps, wraps, and you know, skinny samples. These are all the skinny hydrate and stuff like that. Then DT, DT, DT. Those are all people I talk to about making money. Okay. So I write down every single person I talk to every single day. Okay. And now I do my messaging sprees throughout the way as you throughout the day, as you guys can see in the group chat, I'm consistently saying 10 minute messaging spree. And then you don't hear from me for a couple of hours. Then I'm like 10 minute messaging spree. And then you don't hear from me for a couple of hours. That's because I'm working in the pockets of my day. If my son's in the bath, I'm doing a 10 minute messaging spree. If my, if I'm sitting in the car in the Walmart parking lot, I'm doing a 10 minute messaging spree. If I am sitting on the toilet, I am doing a 10 minute messaging spree as Christina would say, right? (laughs) Um, If I am um, sitting outside watching my kids play in the backyard, I'm going to do a 10 minute messaging spree. If my kids are watching TV and I'm not interested in watching SpongeBob, I'm going to do a 10 minute messaging spree, right? Um, If I am laying in bed at night and I am doing nothing before I go to bed, I'm not going to scroll through Facebook. I'm going to do a 10 minute messaging spree, right? I'm going to take all those times that I would normally waste my own time and I'm going to choose to make money instead. Okay. And that is called being a boss. That's being your own boss. That is not waiting around for someone to tell you what to do. It's you doing it for yourself. Okay. So then what I do is two times a day. Okay. I have two designated times. One time in the afternoon, I take 20 to 30 minutes and I respond to all of my messages. Okay. And then at night before I go to bed. So for example, when I get off of this zoom call tonight, guess what I'm going to do? Respond to all of my messages. So I'm going to end up writing all the names down two times daily. That's the only time you'll ever see me have this book is when I'm, when I am um, writing names down or I'm doing follow-ups. Okay. Um, so I'm going to write their names down. And then to the next day on Tuesday, I'm going to write their name down again. And I'm going to go back to Monday and I'm going to follow up with every single person from Monday. 
And on Wednesday, I'm going to write down everybody I talked to on Wednesday and Tuesday. And from Wednesday, I'm going to follow up with everybody from Tuesday. Now on Thursday, I'm going to write down everybody that I talked to on Thursday, but I'm going to follow up with everybody on Wednesday. You guys see how I'm following up with the day before always every single day, you should be doing follow-ups no matter what it is. Okay. Now, um, on Friday, Fridays look a little bit different because I always like to call Fridays like your money-making days. Those are your days where people get paid and most people, their paycheck gone by noontime. Okay. So what I like to do is in the morning before my kids wake up, I make it a priority before I do anything else other than personal development. You guys know me. I'm strong on that. I will not ever tell you to do work before personal development. You should be reading or listening to a podcast before you do anything. Okay. So I do that. And then I get to my follow-ups right off. So I will, I will write down everybody that I talked to on Friday and then I'll go back to Thursday and I'll follow up with everybody again from Thursday. Okay. I'll go to Wednesday. I'll follow up with everybody I talked to again on Wednesday, Tuesday. I'll do the same thing. Monday. I'll do the same thing. Okay. Um, then I'll go back to the week before I'll do the week before the entire week before, and then I'll do the entire week before that. And I will go back as far as I possibly can, um, throughout the day. Now, um, I was talking to, I think it was Haley the other day about, um, I was talking to Haley about follow-ups the other day. And what's really crazy that I forget to mention sometimes when I'm training on follow-ups is that I'm also following up with people throughout the whole time that I've worked this business. Okay. So this book right here, as you can see, there's a lot of pages there, right? So what happens to all these people that are at the beginning of my book? Okay. So if you've been in it for a while, I'm talking to you, okay? And even if you are not in it for a while, you're going to need to know this eventually, okay? I like to take one page every single day, and I will literally do an entire page every single day. So when I have follow-ups written on my to-do list, because I always have a to-do list, right? On my to-do list for work, I am always putting one page of follow-ups on that to-do list. And I make sure that I get that done. And I'm going back to people that I talked to like back in January. Anybody that didn't sign with me back in January, I'm sending them a follow-up message, okay? Um, then I'm, you know, the next day I'm gonna do another page, you know, the week afterwards. And I'm gonna send them a message following up with them once again. Now, some of them, um, I'm sending a follow-up message for products. Some of them, I'm sending them a message, a first message for a distributor message. Some of them, I'm sending them a host to post message just as long as I'm getting the word out there for those people that I talked to months ago, okay? So I think that's really important to know that. Um, number two, when you're doing your follow-ups, create urgency, okay? So write this down, creating urgency, why are you creating urgency? And I, I want to give this to you guys in a metaphor. You guys know how I love metaphors, okay? So think about it like this, okay? Have you guys ever, has anybody here ever jumped out of a plane before? Just curious. Okay, I have a couple friends who have. That's why I always ask. So anyways, jumping out of a plane, um, and I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard this before, but they always count to three before you get out of the plane, okay? They tell you they're going to count to three. And then they're going to push you. Okay. But they count one, two, and then they push. Okay. And the reason why they do that is because between two and three, you grab, you grab the doors and you're scared crapless and you try to pull yourself back. Okay. What you're doing when you're creating urgency is you're stopping that, that time frame that they could potentially grab and hold on and stop themselves due to fear. Okay. So when, um, when we're creating urgency in our messages, we're saying stuff like this and you can write these down too. Um, we're saying stuff like, Hey, I'm putting in a couple of orders for my, do you want me to put one in for you too? Okay. That's letting them know that you're doing it right now. You could also say something like, Hey, I've got one last spot for my two day detox. Do you want me to put one in for you before they're gone? That's to having them make the decision right then and there. You could also do that as far as distributors go. Distributors creating urgency is really simple. It says something like, hey, I've only got two more positions left on my team to make extra money from home. Do you want me to get you in? You could also say something that refers to um, the end of the month. You could say, hey, I've only got one more day left to get you started. Are you ready to get started now? 
Okay. So you're creating that urgency and you're pushing them on two instead of three. Okay. Um, so when you're creating urgency, also just know that in the boards app, there is a follow-up board and this follow-up board has so many follow-up messages that you can use guys. If you guys didn't know, I'm using the same follow-up messages you're using. I'm using the same messages you're using. I'm using the same customer, customer retention board that you're using. I'm using the same product descriptions, the same price descriptions. I'm using all the same messages that you guys are, are using. So it's so important when you're looking at it to not say, well, why am I? Why I'm not getting this because, or I'm not getting these people to sign because I'm not sending the right messages. No, you're sending the right messages. There's something else that's going on. Okay. And it's always going to be, you know, if you're feeling like you're not signing anybody, um, you're either not signing people for three different reasons. Okay. Number one, and you can write these down too for yourself. If you want to teach someone in the future, consistency. The three reasons why people are not, you're not signing people. You're not consistent enough. 100%. Okay. Number two, massive action. You're not doing it. You're not taking the massive action. You're not sending as many messages as you possibly can to make it happen. And you're not staying consistent. Okay. And number three, you're not following up. So some of you guys, and I've seen this personally, some of you guys, you know, you get into it and I've been, I, I can say this because I've been there before. I have been at a point in my business at some points, especially when I first started my business where I was not doing all three of them, honestly, but some of us are doing two of these. We're taking massive action and we're staying consistent, but we're not doing the follow-up. Some of us are staying consistent and we're doing the follow-up, but we're not taking massive action. Now, what do we need to take massive action in? We need to make sure we're taking massive action and staying consistent in doing our host to post every day. We need to stay consistent and take massive action, sending the messages out daily. We need to take massive action, stay consistent in growing our network and adding people every single day, right? You can't, you can't have people buy when the store is empty, right? You got to fill your store. You have to. There's no way someone's going to come in and apply if your doors are closed every single day. You got to open them doors and you got to welcome everybody that walks by. Okay. Um, and then another thing you got to stay consistent and take massive action on is doing your follow-ups. And that's why we're going over it tonight. Okay. So um, all, you know, some of us are, we're doing two of them, but we're missing out on a third. Some of us are not doing any of these. Some of us are confused on how even to do that. And that's why we're doing this Zoom call because I want you to know how to do it. I want to show you and share with you this skill that I've learned throughout my business that changed everything for me. Okay. So number three um, on our list is if you're, if you're not following up with someone, someone else will. I already said this in the Zoom call, but it's really, really important to understand that, that there's always people, there's always multiple people working in the business that they're seeing on their Facebook. So you have to be the one. You have to tell yourself that I am the one. I'm going to be the one that they sign with. What sets you apart from all the other people? Think about this. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, nothing, that's changeable. You can grow into the person that they need, right? And that takes consistency. That takes following up. That takes getting in their inbox, creating that relationship with them, having a real serious conversation with what they need because they need to know that you think of them first that you're not being selfish, that you're not having them buy from you just for a quick buck. You're actually wanting to help them at the end of the day as well. Okay. Um, so that's number three, number four. Um, I always follow up and this is really crazy because when I first started this, this rubbed me so bad when I first started because I was a people pleaser. Okay. So I didn't want anybody deleting me. I didn't want anybody blocking me. I didn't want anybody telling me that I wasn't good enough or telling me that I was stupid or that I couldn't do something like that or not to message them. I didn't want anybody being rude to me. I was, God forbid somebody didn't like me. Right. But I'm going to share this with you guys. Okay. Think about in your life, okay? Do you know somebody that rubs you the wrong way? Raise your hand if you know one person in your life, at least one, that you just don't like to be around. Okay? 
So how can we be so naive and so out, like, how can we have such an out of control ego to think that everybody needs to like us, right? I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea. And at the end of the day, it's okay because I'm not looking for the people that aren't for me. I'm not looking for those people who are not interested. I'm not looking or paying any attention to the negative people. I'm looking for my people. I'm looking for my people who want to support me and want me to support them. I'm looking for my people who are excited to move forward in their life. I'm looking for my people who want to be around me no matter what. So that's what I'm focusing on at the end of the day. And so this last step is for you. If you feel, if you've ever felt that way before, okay. I follow up with people until they either sign with me or they block me one or the other, because I'm not looking to obsess and worry about those people who are blocking and deleting me. I'm not their cup of tea and it's okay. Okay. So I am, I am staying consistent with messaging them and following up with them until they either get started with me because once they're interested, once they are always going to be interested. And that is so important to know. Okay. Just because they say, no, I can't do it because I can't afford it. It, Just because they ignore you after you send them the first message and they're interested, just because they, they say, oh no, I can't do that right now. Or they say, no, thank you. It does not mean no forever. It means no, not right now. You don't know what's going on in that person's life. Think about this. Okay. Every single one of you guys, how many, how many times let's put it in the chat. Okay. How many times, just rough estimate, did your upline follow up with you until you said yes? Okay. And now just think in your head, think in your head, what were some of the reasons that you either thought to yourself or you told your upline why you couldn't get started? Okay. Was it lack of time? Was it lack of money? Was it fear of failure? Was it fear of judgment? What were some of the things that went through your head on why you couldn't do this? Okay. Okay. I see it. I see it many, many times that I saw that. Okay. Now, everybody that you talk to is going to say the same things, the same things that you told your upline, they're going to say to you now. Okay. And it's because we are all similar in that way. We all have fears. We all have doubts. We all think that, the, you know, just it's too good to be true. We all think it's a scam. We all think all the things, right? We all those thoughts went through every single one of our heads before we actually got started. So understand that everybody else along your journey is going to do the same exact thing. So I follow up with them and I follow up with them and I follow up with them. And the reason why I follow up with them is because when I was broken before I started this business and I was struggling so bad, I was on this path to total self-destruction. I was losing my house. I was going to lose my child. I was going to lose my relationship. I was literally like five payments behind on them. Almost everything. I exaggerated. It's like three payments behind. Okay. But still that's a lot, right? I was losing everything. And this girl that quit on me two months after I got started, right? She had the guts to follow up with me at least over 50 times before I actually started. 50 times, guys, she followed up with me. She believed in me 50 different times, sent me a message. And every single time I said the same thing, I don't have enough time. I'm working two jobs, 70 hours a week, can't do it. I don't have the money and, you know, three land payments behind and I'm about to lose my house and my life is shit, dude. Like I can't do it. Okay. I had, I said these things to her over and over and over again. She believed in me 50 times to say yes. Can you imagine if she got to 49 times of following up with me and she quit? Where would I be right now? I would either be dead. I would not have my child. I'd be in jail or drinking and driving and doing all the stupid things I did when I was a kid, I would have been a mess. I would not have any woman on this team whatsoever. I hear some of the messages you guys send me sometimes about how much I've changed your life, just, just by helping you with personal development and just like waking your mind up. And I could cry because I think about it and I'm like, damn, man, what would have happened if she would have not followed me, followed up with me? 
what, where would anybody be right now? Right. I watch people like Sam grow. I watch people like Haley outgrow that old version of herself. I watch all of these things and I'm like, that was just one more. That was just one more follow-up. That was it. She was one more follow-up. Sam was one more follow-up. Sam was a really hard conversation. We had a real hard conversation when she got started. We talked about how she used to work different companies. We talked about how she, she was fearful she was going to fail. We talked about all these things and it took just one more follow-up and she signed, right? So think about it. When you're going into your follow-ups, think about it the same exact way. And I'm telling you, it's going to change everything for you. It's not that, that you need them. It's that they need you. You're looking for that one last Chelsea that needs this business that needs someone to reach out and say, Hey, I believe in you. You can do this. You can have someone on your Facebook who is, who is losing their hair due to, you know, diseases that they have or whatever. Right. And they need you to reach out to them, asking them if they need that. Right. Think about that person who desperately is looking for something, but doesn't want all the harsh chemicals, right? You are the answer to that. My friend, you are the answer. Think about that person who's struggling to lose weight and they got, di- they, you know, got diagnosed with diabetes and they're, you know, having trouble with their heart and all the things. And they just need someone to believe in them that they can actually lose the weight, right? That one person that you reach out to that you can actually help. It's not for you. Stop thinking that it's for you. We got to stop being selfish about this. It's for them. At the end of the day, it's for them. So that's what your follow-ups are for, okay? Yes, does it help you in so many other ways? Yes, it does. But it's kind of like one hand washes the other. The more people that you get to help, the more people you personally help, the more money you're gonna make at the end of the day, right? So we have to look at it from that perspective every single day. And when you do, it's gonna boost your confidence. You're gonna feel like you actually can work this business. You're gonna believe in yourself more than you ever have because you are literally the only thing that you're like the bridge that, that gets them from point A to point B. And without you reaching out or dropping that draw bridge, right? They're never going to get to that other side, or it might take them a lot longer to get to that other side when you could literally just drop your bridge. Boom. I got a way for you, friend. I've got a way for you to make money and stay home with your babies. I've got a way for you to get caught up on your bills. I've got a way for you to lose that weight that's been keeping you back from living your best life. I've got a way for you to detox so you're not having trouble going to the bathroom anymore, right? You've got the answer for them. And so that follow-up is key. It is key because sometimes they're just afraid to put their foot on that bridge because they're afraid that it's going to collapse. They're afraid that they're not gonna be able to make it to the other side. They're afraid that they're not good enough to go to the other side, right? You are the bridge. You're the person who believes in them. So think about it that way, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and swap over to um, Sam and then we'll talk a little bit about customer retention. So if you wanna talk about um, follow-up, Sam, that would be awesome. Um, And then I will close it out with customer retention stuff. Okay, awesome. Um, So I just wanna say, like Chelsea was saying earlier, like if it wasn't for her, I don't know where I would be at. Um, But she literally, please go out of here. She literally followed up with me a lot, <laughs> and we did have a hard conversation about um, me being fearful of failing and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to go over a few things that I have wrote down about follow-ups. But um, So I didn't know this until I was watching some Zooms from before, like from previous um from previous leaders, but someone was saying, and I don't remember if it was, I don't remember who it was because I didn't write her name down, but they said it takes four to 21 plus times to get somebody to say yes. And so like, if you're only following up with them one or two times, somebody else is going to get them. Somebody else that's going to continue to follow up with them and keep following up with them, they're gonna eventually sign on with them because they're like oh well she didn't continue to follow up with me or she didn't continue to message me so why would I get started or sign on with her if she didn't have that consistency you know so um and so another one was like following up is like planting your seeds for your business like doing your follow-ups you you plant that one seed you 
send that first message. So then somebody messages back and says, yes, I'm interested. Well, you have to keep watering those seeds to grow. Like you have to keep watering those seeds to get them to say yes. So you can't just plant that seed, water at one time and be done. You know, you have to continue to water those seeds for them people to say yes. Um, so, and another thing that I, I write down, like Chelsea was saying, I write down everyone, everyone that's ever said yes about being interested, everyone that's ever said yes about um, a product. Like I follow up with all everyone. And um, I don't know if, if everyone does this because I know some, sometimes um, I forget to write people down. Sometimes I don't have my notebook right in front of me, you know, so I, I don't write those people down. Um, but then I go back and I'm like, oh no, I, I know I had somebody else, you know? So I have to, and we all have to remember to always write those people down, even, even if it's on your phone and you're in the middle of Walmart, you know, like put it on your phone, put it somewhere, you know, just so you have it. Like, so you have that list of people because you, you need those people. I mean, they, like Chelsea was saying, they need you. Like, what if there's somebody out there like one of us, you know, that as for me, like we, my husband is the only worker, like he is the only person that works. So like for us, we were living paycheck to paycheck. There's, there's people out there like that, that need you to send them that message and say, Hey, I, you know, have you ever thought about doing what I do? And even if it's getting started by pre-selling, that's, that's helping them eventually in the long run, you know, so like always, always send those messages. Um, <clears throat> And another thing that Chelsea said, I had wrote down also, but follow up until they say yes or delete you or block you. And I was the same way. I am a very yellow person. So I didn't want to make people upset with me by continuously messaging them, you know, or um, someone blocking me or deleting me. Like, I'm like, oh gosh, they don't like me, but that's okay. They don't have to like me, you know? So if they delete you or block you, it's not a huge deal. There's plenty of people out there that need you. Um, another one that I have is, so what, I know we all use pretty much the same follow-up messages, but um, what I was listening to earlier, I think it was Rachel Jones, I wanna say, she said what she does is she does one to two product messages. like hey, I have two spots available for this. You know, do you want me to add a mess or add an order in for you? And then the next week, she does a business message. Like, hey, have you ever thought about doing what I do or interested in an info? <clears throat> um, and then an like the week after that, do a host to post message. Send them a host to post message and it's asking them to post for you. And then go back to the product messages. So like, you're not always sending them those same, like, hey, I have two spots available. Hey, I have one spot available, you know, or hey, I have 40% off of this, you know, this week. Um, so always send them, you're still having that follow up, but sometimes it's a different message, you know, so um, that's one thing that she said with, that she did. Um, Again, just writing all your people down. I have that wrote down on my paper twice. I didn't realize that until now. <laughs> um, but write everyone down. <clears throat> um, let's see, there was something else that I was gonna say. Okay, so yeah, have, oh, and another thing like what Rachel Jones said that she does is she has a notebook for just loyal customers and a notebook for just potential distributors. Like she doesn't put her loyal customers and distributors together. She has two separate notebooks. So she knows like, hey, this purple notebook is for our loyal customers. This black notebook is for distributors. So she has different notebooks for everybody that she talks to, like not everybody, but for loyal customers and um, distributors. Another thing is following up with your current customers. I wasn't good about this when I first started because I didn't know, like, I didn't know, like, you're supposed to still continue to follow up with your current customers, even after they sign on with you, but sending them a message every now and then 
saying, hey, you know, how's the product doing or how are you doing? You know, just asking them how they're doing in general, um, which I know that has to do with customer retention also. But um, that was one thing that I didn't do very good at whenever I started was following up with my loyal customers that I had already signed on. I am better about it now, but it took me a while. So, um, but I think that's all that I have wrote down for that as far as follow-ups. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> my customer retention, and then if you wanna add something at the end, totally depends, that sound good? Okay. okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, so there was something that um, I wanted to add to hers actually, because Rachel Jones, I actually do the same thing that she does. And it's funny because you probably watched a Zoom call with that, right? I'm pretty sure I probably watched the same exact Zoom or I was on that Zoom when she actually talked about that um, because I've been doing that for years, like years, years, years. Okay. Now I want to share something with you guys, because I think it's really important to understand this. And lately we've been doing a lot of weaning out on our, um, on our Facebook, getting ready for our seed planting season. Okay. If you guys didn't know, we call them seed planting season because it is the season to plant your seeds. Okay. Um, and that season usually is right from August to December, I would say January, to like April is our boom season. And what we, what we mean by that is you're planting all of your seeds, just like Sam said, and you're planting them and planting them and planting them from August all the way until um, December. Now you're going to still have major success during those times. You're still going to have people enrolling. You're still going to have a, a bunch of potential distributors um, coming in and distributors starting and stuff like that. Um, but you're going to find that a lot of people are going to wait and want to sign in January. Okay. Now, if you feel like that's a slow season, if you feel like August to December is a slow season, it does not have to be. And what I mean by that is your success is 100% in your hands and your work ethic. So if you show up every single day throughout that whole entire season and you show up in big ways and boom in big ways, everything that you do during that season will pan out in the next six months. So for example, my enrollments right now that I'm signing, like literally every single day right now, all the people that I'm signing are a result of the work that I put in six months ago. This is why it's so important that you stick it out. Because everybody you're talking to right now, they're all going to sign with you from three to six months to even a year from now. But if you get started planting those seeds and you plant those seeds and you plant the seeds and you plant them and plant them and plant them, and then you quit and you give up on your dreams and you give up on this business being a vehicle for you to get to where you want to be, just know that someone's going to swoop in and take and sign every single seed and they're going to be willing to grow that seed that you already planted. Okay. I can't even tell you how many times I've heard people say, yeah, I've been seeing this everywhere, but nobody has been, has been really reaching out to me again, ever since they talked to me the first time. And I swoop in and I sign those people because someone else did the dirty work when I first got started. Right. Or when, when they first started learning about it, someone else decided to send that message, plant that seed in their head. And I just so happened to show up at the right time to claim that reward because they decided that they didn't want, they didn't want it, right? They decided that, that um, it was never going to come when in reality, it was going to come if they just stuck it out, but they chose not to. And so that person ended up signing with me instead of with them, which might've probably been a good thing because I actually do my customer attention and things like that. Okay. So they, they signed with someone who's actually going to make sure to take care of them, uh, which is a good thing. Okay. So anyways, um, another thing is what she, what she was talking about with Rachel Jones is that she sends a, a product message and then a business message and then a, a host to post message. And then she sends another loyal customer message. Okay. Something that I've been doing lately is I've been weaning out my friends list a lot. And the reason why I've been doing this is because I want to make sure that it's freshened up for our seed planting season. I want all kinds of new people flowing in and starting to watch me in August because guess what September October November December January February February is going to be my biggest boom month okay and it's going to be because all these people that started watching me in, in August okay because I I had the the courage to actually ask the message 
Okay. So that's one of the biggest things. Now, how I'm weaning these people out is whenever I send messages like that, um, hold on one second, guys. What baby? More milk. Okay. Where's daddy? Oh, he's in the bedroom. Okay. Okay. Can you give mommy one minute and I'll bring it to you? Okay. I'll bring it to you. Okay. He's going to get it himself guys. So, <laughs> so anyways, um, so what I'm doing is I'm, yes, yes, it is heavy. What I'm doing is I'm sending the messages to the people. And if I send them a message for business or really technically first product, product, business, and then a host to post message. And they do not respond to me to all three of those from the start. I delete them off my Facebook. Okay, take this. Go lay with daddy. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, baby. Okay, so if I'm sending them a message for, for becoming a loyal customer, becoming a distributor, and then a host to post, and they do not respond to me at all, I delete them off my Facebook. Now, if they, if I send them a message for a potential loyal customer and they say they're interested and I follow up with them for a potential loyal customer again, and they don't respond to me, send them a message for a potential distributor. Don't respond to me. Send them a message for host posts. Don't respond to me. I keep following up with that person because of that one time that they said they were interested. Okay. So the only time that that works with deleting people off your Facebook is if you send them those three messages and they don't say yes to any of them. But if they say yes to either being interested about product, business, or host to post, I keep them on my Facebook and I continue to follow up with them forever. Okay. So I think that's really important to kind of give you the visual to show you how I'm doing my follow-ups every single day and how I am weaning out my Facebook. Okay. Now for every single person that I'm deleting, I'm adding like six more people. So the ratio is kind of keeping my Facebook growing consistently because I'm adding and adding and adding and adding and adding in massive ways. I'm taking massive action every day with adding people and growing my network. I'm taking massive action with um, sending messages every day. I'm taking massive action every single day with um, doing my follow-ups and I'm doing all those things consistently every single day. These are your IPAs, guys, income producing activities, okay? So that's what I'm doing. So I wanna share with you guys um, the customer retention and I wanna share it in a way that kind of you guys can write down and it can kind of flow. So the first thing is, is why are we doing customer retention? And Sam covered some of these, and I'm just going to kind of repeat some of it, but a lot of it's going to be brand new. Um, number one, because they actually want to get results, okay? Those people you're talking to actually do want to lose the weight. They actually do want to grow their hair out. They actually do want to detox so they can stop feeling like crap every day. They actually do want to make money. They're not joking about that. They actually do want those things. So if you're getting them started... And they're getting started with, let's just say, um, we'll just say that the TFX, our weight loss vitamin, right? They're getting started with that. If we're not following up with them and checking on them, how are we supposed to know whether it's actually working for them or not, right? How are we supposed to know whether we need to switch products or whether we need to try something with it or whether they need a detox and they didn't really even know it? or whether they need to upgrade to some bigger package, right? Or whether they've already gotten the results, but they're still getting it. And so you can switch the, pro the product, right? So they can try something different. How are we supposed to know those things if we're not actually reaching out to them? So I think it's really important to make sure that we are sending the messages for following up um, because you wanna make sure that they're getting the results that they came to you for in the first place. Number two um, is, with them ordering and them continuously ordering from you, they actually get to upgrade their loyal customer account. And so I'm going to actually share my, my screen for this because I pulled it up and I want you guys to see this. Can everybody see my screen? Drop a fire emoji in the chat if you can see my screen.
Okay, perfect. So if you look at this right here, this is on your website, just like it's on mine. All you have to do is click on the three little lines on the top left-hand corner, click on become a loyal customer, and it's right there for you, okay? This actually talks all about our loyal customer program, and it talks about going gold and going platinum. So as you'll see, you start out with just placing your orders and starting your auto shipment, okay? Um, we call this a 90-day challenge, 12-week trial, trying it for three months, whatever you want to call it when you talk to people, okay? Um, I do not say auto shipment. Auto shipment scares the crap out of people, and I don't know why, but it does. Um, and so step one is shop on the site or shop the site. Um, and add your chosen products to your bag, you'll see steps to join as a loyal customer during your checkout. It's that easy, okay? Um, and then step two, to join as a loyal customer, you can set up a monthly auto shipment with your chosen products or pay one time $50 membership fee. Guys, we do not advertise the $50 membership fee. The only time I ever, ever, ever talk to someone about the membership fee is if they are dead set that they do not want to order for multiple months. They want to try it one time and they do not want to do anything. I do let them know that our products are on a 90 day, um, a 90 day challenge because that's they're formulated to get results. So in order to get results, they have to stay consistent, right? So I don't ever talk to them about that. Um, I always just roll with the 90 day challenge. And, um, and if they ask different, then that's when I, I mention it to them. Okay. Um, so this says you'll, in, you'll instantly receive 40% off product purchases and enjoy even more perks. Okay. Step three, you can unlock gold status. Um, and it, it says the gold status is your key to free shipping, exclusive discounts, and, um, or sorry, gifts, and so much more. Keep your auto ship running for three consecutive months and receive gifts with your fourth auto ship order, okay? Um, and then it also says, it talks about what is an auto ship, and it's just talking about how you can place an order. You guys can read this afterwards, but... Um, then you can actually upgrade to gold and then platinum. And it talks all about how you can do that as well. Now, like when they upgrade, they literally get to start getting 10% off one-time orders. Um, they also get the opportunity to, um, get 25% off one-time orders, um, free shipping, uh, gifts from the company, um, birthday and anniversary coupons and um, exclusive access to like, like getting first dibs on certain products. Okay. So they get all of that because you decided to do that. Stop sharing. Okay. Because you decided to, to do the follow-up with them, they get to, they get to get all of those different things. Okay. Um, so that's another reason why it's so important because you can get them a bigger discount just by doing your customer retention and explaining to them, Hey, if you do it for one more month, you get to go gold and that gets you this, this, and this. Okay. Which is in the customer retention. Um, now number three is bigger BV each month equal equals bigger residual income for you. So this is on the back side of it. The more that you follow up with people, the more you create that relationship and you get to this point where you create that relationship with these people, which is actually number four. So if you guys want to write down number four, building a relationship, um, it means that, that, for example, I can go to certain loyal customers that have been with me forever. Um, and they, and if I tell them that I'm going for a big promotion, or if I tell them that I just came out with a new product, they're always the first ones to order. And it's because I've created that relationship with them that they know I'm not joking. They know I'm not phony. They know I'm being serious. They know that I really, truly am out for helping them and caring about them. And I'm there for them. Um, and so they, they, it's kind of like one hand washes the other, they turn around and they're there for me and they're there, they're there to help whenever I need it. Uh, but not only that, on top of that, they stay consistent with the products because they love the products because I help them find the right product for them. So I get them trying different products along the way. And you'll see it when I show you guys the boards and stuff. Um, and then how to. Okay. So we're going to go over how to really, really quick. Then we're going to hop off of here. Um, so number one, um, I'm going to show you the follow-up customer retention board. And, um, if you don't have boards, please send me a message tonight because I will get you hooked up with them. Okay. Um, but I'm going to share my screen because I want to show you guys 
the customer retention board that I actually set up for you. And the reason why I did this is because I didn't know, um, I did not know how to do customer retention when I first started. So I'm just going to do this in the chat for you guys. If you go to your boards app, if you scroll down, it's a sunflower emoji. Now I use the same exact customer retention board every single time. So three days after I have them order, I send this first message. This message is all about telling them that their package is going to be on its way, let you know when they get it, all that good stuff, so that you can make sure they are taken care of, okay? Now I have another message where um, it's 10 days after they order, after they receive their product, because most of the shipping is seven, as at least five to 10 business days, okay? So they should get their product by the end of the 10 business days. So when I send this, this is all about um, reaching out to them, seeing if they want help, knowing how to use their product, if they have any questions, all the things, just letting them know that you're there for them is so important because then at that point, because you've sent this message, when they do have questions, they're going to reach out to you. If something is not working the right way for them, they will reach out to you. If they want to switch out their product, they will reach out to you. So you're not having to do all of the work yourself. They're actually coming and feeling comfortable to talk to you about it. Um, so number 14. 14 days after receiving product, I always send this message. Hey, hope you're loving your product. How are you feeling? This is where I get their testimony. Uh, this is where, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those story threads where you see like um, Cheyenne Knox posts, Rachel Jones, um, Jade Hooper, they post these and they post what their, their customers are saying. And it's because they're reaching out to them actually saying, hey, how's it making you feel? Hey, how's this product working for you? That way they know exactly what it's what it's doing for them and if it's not working 100% they can help them but if it is working 100% then they can get that solid testimony and not only that they can also offer them more products that are going to help them do it even faster and even better um, so this one's 30 days after it um, and this one is just um, talking about um, another, another, it's like another testimony. It's saying, are you loving the product? Is there any questions? You're just checking in on them. That's literally all you're doing. And then two months afterwards, um, it's talking about, or it's asking for another testimony, um, reminding them that it's important to stay consistent and to not stop, um, halfway through and wonder why you're not getting results. Okay. And then three months after, um, ordering, this is where you offer them to order one more time. So you're physically telling them that they get more um, perks when they order again, talking about starting another 90 day challenge. Um, so if they want to try something different, if they want to keep going with weight loss or they want to keep going with hair, hair growth, or they want to start detoxing for the first time or start, you know, getting better skin for the first time, they can do that as well. And then four months afterwards, um, I'm asking them if they've ever thought about doing what I do. I'm asking them if they want to make money instead. Now, some people, if you respond or if they, if you get to month three and they say they don't want to order anymore, or with, even if they say they do, sometimes I'll throw out there. Have you ever thought about making money and using these products? Especially if I like what I see when I go onto their profile, if their profile is positive, upbeat, you can tell that they're open to growth and change and all the things I am definitely asking them if they've ever thought about doing what I do, because I want the ultimate goal at the end of every single person ordering your goal should be to get them started making money and using these products because if they're ordering it consistently, they're going to love it. If they're actually using the products the way that they're supposed to be used, they will actually love it. Okay. So my goal at the end of it is always to ask them if they've ever thought about doing what I do. And so that is how I do customer retention. Um, in a nutshell, let me stop sharing my screen. Um, that's how I do customer retention. And another thing that I do, and this is like number two to, um, how to, and when to follow up any promotion that we have, if we have a pick three, pick two deal, if we have any sales that happen, any holiday sales, anything like that, I am following up with my current loyal customers. Okay. Um, the second thing that I'm doing is um, holidays, any holidays, Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, Easter, any 
you know, holidays, 4th of July, even I'm sending all of my current customers a message that says, um, Hey, happy Easter or Hey, um, happy Thanksgiving or Hey, Merry Christmas, things like that, because I want them to know that I'm thinking about them on those special holidays. Um, and that creates the relationship on top of that. It's kind of like you would say that to your family. So why wouldn't you say it to your customers? Right. Because those are your people who are feeding into your family. My customers feed my family. You know what I mean? So think about those things. Um, and then month end, any type of month end that, that you're, you're going through, if you are, um, you know, finishing out a month strong and you are hustling and you're working your business and all the things go circle back around to your current customers, send them a message saying, Hey, I'm putting in a couple of 40% off orders for my two day detox. Do you want me to put one in for you too? Or have you ever tried it? Or have you ever thought about trying it? Right. You can say something like that. Um, you could even follow up with them as a, for a potential distributor. Anytime you could send them a message saying, Hey, I'm closing out this month. I'm looking for one person who wants to make money. Do you want to check it out? or can I send you some info, right? Um, any special occasions, any, any time that I have, like, for example, I just got the skinny hydrate sample packs in. So I sent a message to all my current oil customers. And I said, Hey, I'm sending out some sample packs for this new skinny hydrate drink. Do you want one? I got like 30 oil customers send me a message saying, Hey girl, yeah, hook me up. And that was all, you know, sample pack, sample pack, sample pack, sample pack. It was 25 bucks a piece. Okay. They got to try it for a cheaper price. And they were, they only had to do three packets. Um, and they did, they weren't committed to anything and they loved it. I was thinking about them. So customer attention is really, really simple when you're doing stuff like that. Um, and then number three, always having the intention of, um, turning them into a distributor, helping them make money at the end of the day, helping them, um, become the best version of themselves. We all know that we do a lot of personal development on our team. We all know that we grow into the best version of ourselves on this team. So I think it's really, really important to make sure that we're, we are um, sending messages for potential distributors as well. And the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is that you can actually send messages through your connect app. So if you have not done that yet, um, or if you have not checked it out at least yet, you can literally go to your connect app, the it works connect app. You can log in. And once you log in, um, you can literally click on the plus sign down at the bottom and then click send message. And you can literally refine it to loyal customer. And anytime you have a holiday special occasion, sending out samples, anytime you're, you're doing a month end follow-up, anytime you're doing a uh, promotional follow-up, you can send a message to all of your loyal customers within a click of a button. So you don't have to go search through them on Facebook. You don't have to worry about it. That's a tool that the company gave to us so that we could do our customer retention super quick every single month. Okay. So um, did you have anything to add to this, Sam, before I get off of here? Um, I was just going to say two quick things, if that's okay. Okay, so um, what I do with my customer retention is I have a little, here it is, I have a little notebook, like a little calendar notebook that I put all of my loyal customers in. I write their name down at three days, 10 days, one, two, and three months. So every time I look at this book, I see their names. So I'm like, oh, okay, I have to follow up with them, you know? So that that's a reminder of like, you know, to follow up with them since you're looking at it all the time anyways. Um, so, and another thing that I do for host to post, okay. Um, I always ask like the people that have posted for me before, like if they've posted for me before, then I asked them to post for me again. The lady that I just signed on has literally done a host to post for me every month since I started, every single month since I've started. And then she just signed on this week as, as a distributor. So like even them, they'll eventually be like, oh, okay, like I'm doing this every month anyways, why can't I make money doing it, you know? So um, those were my two quick things that I wanted to say. Love you guys, good night. Um, before we got off here, that was it. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I love that.
fact that you said that you follow up with your people from post to post, because sometimes we forget that there's people literally posting for us all the time. And um, when it comes down to it, if you can post on Facebook, you can work this business. If you're scrolling Facebook, you can work this business. If you're posting on TikTok, if you're scrolling through TikTok, you're scrolling through Instagram. If you're on your phone at any given time throughout the day, you can work this business no matter what. Um, because we're doing the same skills that everybody else is already doing. We're just doing it to make money instead of wasting our own time, right? So that's that's re a really, really great tip is going through your your people who host posted for you and just sending them a simple message saying, hey, um, I know that we've talked about this before, or maybe we haven't talked about this before. You could even say that. Um, but have you ever thought about doing what I do to make extra income? Because I think you'd be really good at it, question mark, right? Um, that could open up a whole new conversation and could make it so that they could go on your potential distributor list for follow-ups um, just because they're interested from, you know, you sending that message. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited about this. Um, I feel like we've all got a pretty good grip on customer retention and follow-ups and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to see if I can upload this to YouTube tonight before I go to bed and then I'm going to clear out my inbox, but I'll talk to you guys later and I appreciate all of you guys getting on. I hope you have a great night.